We have some great news on the drug war coming from USA Today. They say President Obama commuted the sentences of 61 people serving time for drug offenses Wednesday, including 21 federal inmates who found out today that they will not die behind bars. Obama granted clemency to 95 individuals in December. With Wednesday's announcement, Obama's total is now up to 248, including 91 people who had been given life sentences. The federal prisoners who had their sentences shortened on Wednesday will now be released around July 28th, while those who were serving life sentences will be released in one year. Okay, so, um, credit to Obama. This is great. This is, you know what it is? It's a sign that he kind of gets it on the drug war and on the unfair sentences and on, in the broader picture, in the broader scheme of things. I want to give him full credit for this, but I also want to say you got to go further. You got to go further. And let's be completely honest about it, man. It is a really difficult thing because in a majority white country, you have the first African-American president and he's gradually releasing the nonviolent drug offenders. It's so easy for people to just tar him with like, of course, you know, look at him. Black president, drug criminals. <laughs> Duh, that's what he's going to do. But my response to you, Obama, if indeed that is a fear inside the White House, that look how this is going to be perceived. It's the first black president and he's showing that he's like, doesn't want to be tough on, on, on criminals, on, in this case, drug criminals, which in my view aren't really criminals. My response to him would be, dude, they're going to say that about you no matter what. When they have nothing to criticize you on, they find things to criticize you on. Obamacare is their fucking plan. The individual mandate, that's their thing. Nixon came up with it first, then Mitt Romney, then right-wing think tanks, Newt Gingrich, Chuck Grassley supported it. Now you did it, all of a sudden they're against it. So they're going to be against you no matter what. So if they're going to do that, why not you go all the way, even on this issue? It would just, it would be amazing if we woke up one day and there it is, the headlines that say, Obama pardons or commutes the sentences of all nonviolent drug offenders. And understand, people think that that's radical. No, what's radical is what we have right now. If you're against that move, you're a radical. In the U.S., we have more people in our prison system than Stalin did in his gulags at their height. What an unbelievable fact that is. So we've locked people up and ruined their lives because they, you know, smoked some weed or they had some cocaine on them or... What a joke, what a joke. They shouldn't even have any time in jail. They shouldn't even have a record for that. That's no different than somebody who's fucking drinking some tequila at night. What? Oh, it's a different substance, so therefore it's a crime? Piss off. No, it's not. And look, everybody knows, uh, many people, probably most people at some point have either smoked weed or done some other drug and it was illegal. Imagine if you were fucking caught when that happened. Imagine if you were caught. Obama was in the Chum gang. He smoked weed when he was younger. Imagine he was caught, he wouldn't be president. So since that's the case, let's go all the way. And the thing that gets under my skin, if you can't tell, is that we're inching in the right direction. Why inch? Say, fuck it, drop a bomb in the middle of the conversation. This is what we're doing. I'm pardoning or commuting all nonviolent drug offenders. And I'm going to change the schedule of marijuana right now, today, which I can do without even going through Congress. And on top of that, we're going to try to push it through Congress. A bill to at the least decriminalize, but I will go all the way and legalize. 58% of the American people want to legalize marijuana for recreational purposes. 58%! The Democrats can use the bully pulpit. Hey, we're with the majority of the American people. R Republicans, you're against this. Why do you hate the American people? Why are you against the overwhelming majority? Why do you want to be fascist? Why do you want to be tyrants? Why do you want to pretend like the will does not exist? Why are you doing that? Hammer them and ride that issue to an election victory. This is how you play politics. But instead, Obama inches ever so slowly in the right direction. Again, credit to him because this is going in the right direction. So you got to be fair. Fair is fair. Tremendous amount of credit to him. But we can go further. We can do better. Let's do it and let's do it right now.